We want to turn now to CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozloff following one of our big breaking news stories today. Those emails released to the Anjanet Young wrong raid case. Dana, we looked at all these materials and they seem to show the city and CPD really fought to bury this story and the body camera video that proved it. Yeah, Marie, the City Hall emails actually commend the city's refusal or denial of our request for the body cam video in Young's case. And they also confirmed something we'd already reported, that Mayor Lori Lightfoot was briefed on Young's case and even had questions about it at the time. And they show one other thing, an attempt to spin the narrative around what we'd been reporting on for two years, and that is a pattern of police Wrong raids. The botched Chicago police raid of Anjanette Young's home sparked national outrage and this pledge from Mayor Lori Lightfoot about emails regarding the wrongfully executed search warrant. Would you release them? Yeah, we will release them. Um, we're doing a deep dive to look and make sure that we have everything. Late this afternoon, her office did more than 150 pages of emails and documents that confirm it wasn't just her top aides who were aware of the CBS2 investigators inquiries about the case and body cam video. The mayor was notified too. Ms. Young's case and others were lifted up to my attention. I don't have any contemporaneous recollection of this. The initial emails about Young's case and our pending story were sent November 11th, 2019. They indicate the mayor was not only told about the incident, but concerned about it as well. One email from a high up mayoral staffer to another reads, is MLL, Mayor Lori Lightfoot, aware of this incident? The response minutes later, I told her there was a bad incident, but did not go into details. Minutes after that, this email sent directly to Mayor Lightfoot reads, Mayor, please see below for a pretty bad wrongful raid coming out tomorrow. Media FOIA was denied and victim FOIA request is in the works and to be released to her tomorrow within the deadline period. 33 minutes later, Lightfoot herself responded. I have a lot of questions about this one. Can we do a quick call about it? Staffer Michael Klassen replies, I can join. Let's use my call in. In later emails, Tamika Puckett, the city's chief risk officer, apologizes for missing that call because she was stuck at the airport. Emails also show the mayor was concerned about the negative light two years of wrong raids coverage by CBS2 might be casting on the city. In an email from January 13th regarding new search warrant policy changes, a staffer writes, following the recent negative coverage the department has had on search warrants wrong raids, MLL wants some placed stories around the new policy announcement. Other emails show the city was ready to honor Ms. Young's public records request and give her the body camera video of her raid, that is, until the Civilian Office of Police Accountability, or COPA, put a stop to it, citing a pending investigation. Adding insult, records also show that Ms. Young's claim filed with the city to have her door repaired after officers forced their way inside her home was denied, the reason given. It was a lawful search. The 12 officers involved in that raid were just placed on desk duty last week. That's 22 months after the initial search warrant was executed and more than a year after we first reported the story. Marie. Dana Kozlov live for us tonight. Thank you, Dana.